Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to discuss about parameterized constructor in C++. So before starting, you can note down my information for your study purposes. Now coming on to the topic parameterized constructor. So the default constructor initializes the data members of all the objects with same values. However, it may be necessary to assign different values to the data members of the objects when they are created. So in case of default constructor, each object will be initialized with similar values. But in case of parameterized constructor, we can assign different values to each object. So these values can be specified as argument list in the parenthesis of constructor, similar to the argument list passed in the function. So the constructor that can take arguments are called parameterized constructor. Now coming on to the syntax in this uh, slide, you can see this is parameterized constructor definition and you can see that here argument list is uh, provided so that we can pass arguments to the uh, constructor which is defined inside a particular class and this constructor will be known as parameterized constructor. Now this is a program which is implemented in C++. So name is uh, uh, class. Name of class is distance. It has two attributes feet and inch. And this is parameterized constructor. So it is receiving two arguments one in F and second in I. So F is assigned into feet and I is assigned into H, inch. So after this definition read function is defined. After that show function is defined. Now in main function you can see that first object d1 is created it is receiving two arguments 5 and 10 as parameter and another object d2 is defined which is receiving 10 and 20 as an argument. Both object automatically invokes parameterized constructor. So uh, you can see the difference uh, here. If you have uh, watched my video based on default constructor, then you will be able to understand the difference between default and parameterized constructor. In case of default constructor, uh, I have not passed arguments, but in case of parameterized constructor, I have passed arguments so that uh, different values can be initialized in different objects. So implement this program in your uh, computer or laptop so that you can uh, watch the difference between default and parameterized constructor. Thank you for watching this video.